Hey folks, Dr. Bob McCauley, the most important mineral of all for your brain and your heart, the one you got to have to stay alive, coming up. And of course, that mineral is magnesium. And this is liquid magnesium. Magnesium is the most important mineral for your body because that's your heart mineral. Every time your heart beating, click, 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 that's magnesium being burned uh, uh, in your body. And so what you, you, you get a heart attack, for instance, first thing they do when they take you into the hospital is put you on a magnesium drip because they know that's what your heart needs. And a lot of people have heart attacks just because they're short on magnesium. You don't have to have clogged arteries. So there's another type of magnesium that gets to your brain. And within the last few years, we really begin to find out how important it is for uh, magnesium in the brain. So they started autopsying uh, Alzheimer patients after they passed away and stupid monkeys. <laughs> and smart monkeys. And they found uh, the people with the Alzheimer's and the stupid monkeys had absolutely no magnesium in the brain and smart monkeys were full of magnesium in the brain. Well, what does that tell you? Magnesium is really needed in the brain. It increases the synaptic activity and actually increases synapses themselves in the brain. The type of magnesium we're talking about is magnesium L-threonate. Very important you get magnesium L-threonate and not just any kind of magnesium. For instance, this type of magnesium here, this is just pure magnesium that's been electroplated into purified water. Very good. You take a small amount, you hold it under your tongue, goes into your through, through your sublingual duct into your into your body, hits the bloodstream, and is dispersed throughout the body. But this one's different. This is magnesium L-threonate, and what we call magbrain. I call magbrain magnesium L-threonate. So it's magnesium with L-threonate, which is an amino acid uh, uh, attached to it. This is extremely important because this is how things get into the body, that you need to have this amino acid or it needs to be ionic. It needs to have some enzymes next to it. This is how things get very effectively brought into the brain. Well, if you, into the body and, and in particular into the brain, if you want to ma get magnesium into your brain, you're going to need a, a magnesium with an amino acid and the L-threonate is the perfect kind to do so. Now, what's wonderful about magnesium L-threonate or magbrain right there is that all you need is a small little tiny, I'd say really one gram, okay, but about an eighth of a teaspoon, one eighth of a teaspoon or one gram, okay, and you just put that into water like that. You shake, you kind of stir it up a little bit. If you wait a couple minutes, that'll turn... Uh, clear. You won't even see it in there and you can drink it down. Even if you drink it down now, it's not going to have much of a taste at all. And that's the really the w wonderful thing about magnesium l -threonate. So, if, for instance, if I had somebody that I knew had some, uh, you know, memory issues. 2005. Don't recall. Did you go to the spring semester? I don't recall. I don't recall what you went to the fall semester. Don't recall. They're really kind of going downhill. You want the magnesium l -threonate. You want a lot of mag brain. Uh, this is about uh, 500 milligrams, 600 milligrams here. So you would want to take a couple of these, two of these in the morning. But really, I would be doing around 12 of these every day. I'd be doing six grams of this every single day. You really can't take too much of it. Your body will need use what it needs. Uh, it's pretty affordable, really. And the great thing about it, as I said, you can kind of see that's already beginning to clear up there. You can just put it in water and just take it right down just like that. The magnesium and the l do that automatically so it goes right into the brain. It's really effective and it's really one of the best things you can do for, uh, you know, not only for longevity but for, for, for your memory and for brain enhancement and brain usage. It's that synaptic activity that is so important. That's how we end up getting bad memory and we lose our, you know, we lo begin to forget for things. We end up with Alzheimer's and all these other what I call dementia-related diseases. One of the keys, there's no doubt about it, is magnesium. Another one is brain toxicity. You get a bunch of junk in there and you got to get that out. That's really difficult because the brain's kind of like a sponge, you know, just kind of grabs onto everything. But you definitely want to feed it magnesium mag brain magnesium threonate without a doubt easiest way to do it dr bob i'll see you guys next time visit us at watershed.net i don't recall
You produced a movie in 2005? I don't recall. You produced a movie in 2004? I don't recall. No idea? No. What movies have you produced in the last three years? I don't recall. You don't want to end up like that guy. Did you produce one movie in the last three years? I don't remember. You don't remember? Whether That's you what produced I, a movie in the last three years? That's what I told you a couple seconds ago when you asked me. Yeah. I said I don't remember. You don't remember? No, the, the busy days, long hours. Uh-huh. It affects remembering everything. A little magnesium for the brain might not hurt.